Welcome. Coloring vertex edge graphs can be used to manage conflicts associated with scheduling or for coloring a map. Our goal is to color each vertex so that no two that are connected are the same color, and we want to use the fewest number of possible colors. We'll go through these steps of how to do this together, and I will also show you how you can do this um, easily coloring in Microsoft Word. We're going to use this example. A camp is assigning girls to cabins. They know that some of the girls do not get along and cannot share a cabin. We're going to begin by making a vertex edge graph, and we're going to connect those points if they cannot share a cabin. So first a tip using Microsoft Word. Across the top, I'm going to use the Draw menu, and I'm just going to select for right now this regular black pen. Now we're going to connect the pairs of people who cannot be together. So first one says Amy and Barb. Make a line connecting Amy and Barb. Amy and Eva. Barb and Eva. Barb and Dara. Chu and Frida. Chu and Dara. Dara and Eva, and Eva and Frida. There's my vertex edge graph. Now that we have our vertex edge graph, let's do the steps for coloring. Our first step is to find the degree of each vertex. Remember the degree is the number of edges at each point. So A has a degree of two, B three, C two, D3, E4, and F2. And then I'm going to list them in order from biggest to smallest. Step two is to color the vertex with the highest degree. In this case, that's E. So again, we're going to use our draw tool in Word. Um, for this, I find it easy to use the highlighter. So select the highlighter, and you can start with any color, and go down and color vertex E. And I'm also just going to highlight the point E on my list so I know it's done. In step three, we're going to look for other vertices that can be the same color as E. So what we're going to do is we're going to work down the list from highest to lowest, and we're going to check if any of them can be the same color. Well, D, B, A, and F cannot be because they're all connected to E. So remember, any two points that are connected cannot be the same color. However, C is not connected. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make C yellow as well. And I'm going to highlight it so I know that I am finished with point C. Once I know that no other points can be yellow, I'm going to move on to a different color. So again, in the draw menu, I'm going to do the highlighter, use this little drop down, and that's going to allow me to pick a different color. Doesn't matter at all what you pick. Now we want to color the vertex with the next highest degree. It doesn't really matter if you do D or B. They both have a value of three. So I just listed mine with D. So I'm going to, whoops. As I'm going down the list, I've made my D green, and then I'm going to look if the others can be the same color. So I'm working down. Um, can B be green? Well, nope. B is connected to D. Can F be green? Yeah, F is not directly connected to D, so F could be green. And then could A be green? A can also be green because it is not connected to D and it is not connected to F, the other points I made green. As we continue down the list, um, our next point would be B. I need to make B a different color. And then I notice that's my last point on the list. If there were more points, I would keep working down and see if I could color them the same color as blue or if I needed another color. 
And then finally, we're often going to use these in story problems, so we're going to write a summary. So in this case, we see that we have three different colors, so we need a minimum of three cabins. In cabin one, we're going to put Eva and Chu. Cabin two are the ones I have highlighted in green. That would be Dara, Frida, and Amy. And then in this case, I have cabin three, Barb. Uh, hopefully there's someone else to join her cabin. Or you might notice um, that sometimes I had choices. Um, for example, if I were going to do D or B first. Um, if we actually did D or, or if we did B before D, we would still need three cabins, um, but our groupings would be slightly different. Or you might notice in this case, if we were trying to balance them out, um, you could see um, B and F are not connected. So F could have actually been blue as well. Uh, so if I were running the camp, I would probably say, well, we'll let Dara and Amy be together and we'll put Barb and Frida in cabin three.